a cross in there, and it's come through here. McIntyre! Dynamo Bucharest to step forward. The nation holds its breath. Lovely touch for the boy. It's Dave Rooney's in, Dave Rooney. And it's 1 0 to Bowles out of nothing. A high quality goal. And Bowles lead 1 0. Once he comes in, the day makes a run in behind him. The big gap there for them all the time. Lovely finishes it up. Bowles picks it up. Off to Keohan. Keohan looks for Esua. Again, he's bursting forward. That's a good ball. Hickey's there. Mills wins the header. Hurley, left footed. Oh, it oh. takes a deflection. Of Jay Carroll and Galway are level. Almost 39 minutes into the game. And on the balance of play, yeah, I'll probably say, yeah, deserve. deserve it. Yeah, definitely. But SA again, going up the wing, getting a good cross into the. Joe Redmond is so young, still only 24. Mulraney, dangerous ball in, and Keena with yeah. the goal to put St. Pat's ahead against his former club. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure if he knew too much about it, but it was the quality of the ball. Mulroney down the left-hand side, attacks that space, puts the, pa puts the pass to yard, just whoops on a number. Alice Stadium and the title. And he's going to Shelburne. And here's Palmer with a chance to double the score, and he does 2-0 to St. Pat's. Yeah. In the last minute here in the showgrounds. Yeah, a good run there by Palmer. Not sure who picks up the ball in the middle of the park and he just runs into that space. Who gets it down the first time towards Graham Burke, Johnny Kenny is looking for this one. Oh, Burke's ball through. Might just find it. Here's a chance for Shelburne Rovers. It's in. The perfect start. Johnny Kenny with his 13th new goal of the season. And just what the hoops wanted. And from Grace as well. Back as far as Hornahan. Dara Burns. Well, that's a good ball in from Burns. Hangs it up nicely. And this will fall for Neil Ferrugia. Cracks the crossbar. Still there and it's in. And Shamrock Rovers do get their goal at the end of it. That'll make things a whole lot more comfortable here at Tallis Stadium. Dylan Watts pokes it home from close. Good exchange. Sends... McCormick away down this right hand side, good ball across, and there is the goal to get Waterford back into this maybe, and it's that man Porrick Almond moves on to 14 for the season, and well, there might well be life in this one yet. Put it away, what a finish this. I'm sure in a dirty point of view you'd be very disappointed that you've given up a free kick in such a dangerous position like this. Uh, Davenport booked just a few moments ago. No second yellow card there, which uh, Terry will be quite happy with. Dean Williams notices just coming down below. Here is Sean Boyd into the wall, deflected. Mark saves it in. Shelburne find the goal. Harry Wood, the jersey's off. Six minutes to go. A massive breakthrough goal, a very late breakthrough goal for Shelburne. And this side that never says die, this side with an outstanding record when striking first, has found the moment. Harry Wood returned in the summer. That's his first goal since his return. It could be a goal that puts him into Shelburne folklore. I said the tide was turning, Des. And look at the scenes. Sean Boyd's free kick takes a slight deflection. It hampers Brian Mars. Ability to save it properly, it falls to Harry Wood, and he has the simplest task to put it into the back of the net. It's
after just three seasons at the club, you must be overjoyed. Overjoyed, yeah. I've openly said in the last few weeks uh, that would be the pinnacle of my professional. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> What I told waste. my wife I wasn't <laughs> drinking tonight. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I've only said the last few weeks would be the pinnacle of my professional career and it absolutely wipes the floor with it. Um, but firstly, uh, commiserations to Stephen. Obviously, it was a two-horse race tonight, yeah. but obviously Rory and um, a couple more. Um, but I think we were worthy winners tonight. We absolutely deserved it. I felt a real flatness around the ground. So, bizarrely, it was probably a good game to have. Uh, and we've thoroughly deserved to win the league. Um, the best team's winner. And I think we can openly say we were the best team. Yeah, considering what you achieved as a player, how come the League of Ireland has become so important to you? I don't know here. I'm an emotional guy. I need to have 24-7 focus and jump out of bed in the morning. What is it? I openly said, my first preference, uh, I might have been a barista, I turned that down, and I'm here managing uh, a Dublin institution, Dublin's finest, and we're winning a league three years into it. Um, so it's incredible because uh, there's been some dark times for a Shelburne football club, as Stewie will tell you. Dark, dark times. Um, so I'm so, so happy for them. But the biggest, I guess, message there is tonight, it's not for my players, they deserve it, the fans, Stewie, people around the club deserve it. But it's for kids all around Ireland, all around the world, because we've always been told since they got here three years ago, you're not good enough, you'll never win at them, um, you're this, you're that. Um, if you put your mind to anything yeah. and you work hard and you dedicate your life to it, you can do anything you want. And that's what my players have done. Yeah, you